So here's how to create a Canva slideshow video. It's very easy to do. And if you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link in the description. If you click that, not only can you try Canva for free, you can also use it for easier login access. Let's begin. So in the beginning, we're gonna be on our dashboard here. What I wanna do is just type in slideshow video. Upon doing that, there's gonna be a little section right here where we can create that. So I'm gonna click on slideshow video here. Now, normally I love using templates. There's plenty of them that you can utilize here. Maybe if you see one that you really like, you can do that where maybe the background's gonna be better. You have some frames here to showcase maybe photos you wanna use, but just for the sake of getting up and running and being easier to do, I'm gonna create a blank slideshow video just to show you how to start from scratch in case you wanna do that. All right, so for this slideshow video, what I'm gonna be doing is just showcasing some photos that I really like. Now you can do this for anything. Let's say maybe you're a digital marketer. It could be a portfolio of maybe results that you've gotten, testimonials, case studies, whatever it's going to be. It could be educational, it could be for content. The world is your oyster, but as long as you know how to do it, that's what I'm gonna be showing you here. So for this example, I'm just gonna be showcasing some of my images here for my branding with islands. I happen to love these. I think they look fantastic. Or maybe it's just me because it's my own branding. But nevertheless, okay, let's say we add an image here. What we can do after that is click on add a page. What it's gonna do from there is now create a new little section and what we can do is drag and drop more pictures. I'm just making them bigger. Now some ideas for you as well while I do this, you can obviously maybe put them on the side and then maybe put one right here on the bottom, one on the top. You can always add text and anything similar like that. But I'm just gonna do a few here so that you can see what it looks like when I go to play it and of course edit some of the designs and the transitions in between, okay? So as long as you know where to find your images, of course it's gonna be in the images section. And if you wanted to upload any right there, you can do that. So I'm just going to do a couple more. Let me scroll down a little bit. All right, let's go with this one and I'll do one more. All right, and the last one. So for example, let's just say that's going to be our Canva slideshow video. We have some images, you know, whatever images you use is gonna be completely up to you. You'll notice that all of these are gonna be five seconds and you say, well, maybe I don't want all of them to be five seconds. If you're like me and you have OCD where you want everything to be similar, what you can do is click on say the first one here and just click on the timer and you can change just this one or what I'd recommend is maybe just doing all of them. So I'm gonna do like, 2.0 seconds, and I'm gonna to apply to all pages. So after doing this, clicking on this right here, you're gonna notice that they're gonna shrink ever so slightly, and by slightly a good amount actually, because they're much shorter, okay? Now if you wanted to just change a separate one, you can go here, you can go to the time, and of course just change that. Let's say we want this one to be three seconds because we like it so much. Let's add the three there and click enter. There we go. You'll notice that it jumped from two to three, and that's just gonna be that specific one. So all the other ones are gonna be two, that's gonna be three, and that's gonna be A-OK -okay with me. Here's something else that we can do. Anytime you hover in between two specific pages here, so let's go right here. Let's go right to the middle. You're gonna notice we have an add transition and we have add a page. We already know how to add a page since you can either go here to do that or hop in the middle, but let's go with some transitions as well. So if we go over here, looks pretty cool if you ask me, especially with the islands there. So we can do dissolve, okay? We can do slide, we could do circle wipe. Some of these look, aside from that one, I think they look pretty cool. So let's just say we wanted to do dissolve there, okay? And in fact, if we're gonna be doing that, maybe we wanna make these a little bit longer just so like it doesn't go all the way into it. Or at least gives it enough time for it to do its thing. So let's do 2.7, there we go. For this one, let's also do say 2.7. And you'll notice that when we do add the transitions in, hit enter, it's just gonna make it a little bit shorter. So once again, let's go in between this one. Let's add our transition. We had some other good ones, circle wipe, color wipe. I didn't like that one too much. That one looks great, let's do that. And what we can do is duration for the seconds in case we wanted to edit it, You know, whether it's shorter or longer, I think that looks fine. Here's another one where we can add a transition, stack, flow flow looks pretty good and what we can do for this the duration whether we want to do up down left right i think it's going to be fine how it is we can also apply between all pages so if you see one that you really like here let's say we like i'm going to go back here let's say we like dissolve and what we can do is just apply to all pages and just like that it's going to be applied so i showed you how to add like specific ones but if you just want to make your life easier if you find one that you really like you can do that as well one last thing i do want to showcase is that if you go into apps Let's say we wanna type in audio and enter. 
there's going to be the audio aspect right here. So if you do want to add music, you can do that. Now, keep in mind, a lot of these are going to be pro. I do have Canva Pro at the time, so a lot of these are going to be available. If you do have any music you want to use, you can go to uploads and audio is going to be right here. So you would upload your file and this is where your audio would go. Let's say we wanted to add it in. We can drag and drop it right there and extend it so that it plays during the whole thing. But that's probably just gonna talk over me or go over me, so I'm gonna delete it. But just showcasing how that's gonna work. Now, since we are pretty much done with this, right? It's not too difficult here. Let's go back to the beginning. What I'm gonna do is just play it and you can see what it looks like in terms of your Canva slideshow video. So let's hit play. I don't have any music here, which is good, so it's not gonna talk over me. So it, it nicely, I think it was dissolve was gonna be the transition there. That one looks pretty nice, dissolving again. And last but not least, we have that dissolve there. So perfect. Obviously, you can add anything you want to it. So for example, if you add in a page, you can do text, you can do elements. That's the, the world is gonna be your oyster there. You can go crazy with that. That's really gonna be up to you, any you know specific things that you wanna add. But say we wanna delete that, we can just go right there and click on delete page. Now, last but not least, when it comes to saving it. So for example, when we are done, we can go to share and what you can do is there's actually going to be a collaboration link if you want to do that. But let's just say you want to save it first. We can go to download MP4 video, which is going to be recommended. You can do quality. So if you do have the um, Canva Pro, there we go. You can do for larger screens, the 4K UHD. We're going to do all pages. You can do it as separate files if needed, but I think everything together is going to be fine. I'm going to click on download here. And let's give it some time for it to download and render. I will be back once this is all the way to the end. All right, and so here we are, just opened up in the media player. I'm not gonna go through all of it, but if I hit play, you're gonna notice it's gonna dissolve. The quality looks great into the next image and so on and so forth. So let's exit out of that. And I do wanna show you that one more thing where if you go to share, you can go to the, con excuse me, I was gonna say contribution link, the collaboration link. If you go to anyone with the link right here, and what you can also do is just do, I can do view, I think would be best right here. So they can comment on it if you want. This is good, for example, if you wanna send it to someone, you wanna get some ideas. I wouldn't do edit if you're giving that to people who can just look at it because then anyone can just go in and delete it. So I'd go with can view. Let's copy link. Let's open it up in a new tab. All right, and there you go. It's very similar to say Google Drive, like they can open it up, but they can't edit it. And they'll be able to do the same thing where they can view it and so on and so forth. I am in my account, so it's probably, I'd say that's probably the reason why it looks like I can do a lot more, but can I delete it? actually can. So let me undo that. I'm actually going to open it up in an incognito window. One moment. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So now I can actually delete it. <laughs> the reason why it was view only and I could delete it because I was the owner of it. So if you give it to someone else, this is what it's going to look like. They can't go in, delete it and change it around. But that's going to conclude this tutorial when it comes to how to create a canvas slideshow. Pretty simple stuff, pretty easy to do. It's more about adding these specific images that you want. You can add as many as you want, adding some transitions. You can add audio if you want, show you the way of saving it. And of course, if you want to send it to someone else, whether it be view only, they can edit it or comment on it. That's going to be up to you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you haven't gotten the tryout Canva, I will leave my link in the description for easier access. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in my next video.